Hello friends, my greetings to each of you from the University of Florida. I imagine there are some friendly faces watching this right now. As one of the earliest life members of NELTA and more recently as one of the members of the awesome editorial team of NELTA Chautari, I'm delighted to be speaking to you at one of my dearest forums of professional development. Because of these meeting opportunities, I cannot appreciate enough the beauty of these platforms such as NELTA and Chautari. Friends, let me begin with my own story first to set a context of what I'm going to talk about today. I come from a rural community and was taught in a public school, which I dearly miss. I even feel a little nostalgic when I remember the school days. Every Friday, we went around the village to collect some cow dung and water to settle the dust in our classrooms. Fast forward, I'm researching the multiple dynamics of internationalization of higher education from a top research university as a Fulbright scholar. But when I look back, not too many of my schoolmates were able to navigate the education system. Out of my 68 classmates in class five, only 33 made it to the class six. Later on, even as I completed my college education and moved on, I cannot count how many smart colleges and university classmates I have left behind. But I don't say this to feel proud. In fact, I say this to highlight the importance of mentors I have had at many critical points of my academic and professional career. I also say this to express my deep desire to find ways to give back to the community so that more of the future generation students and scholars can realize their full potential. From my own experience, research, and observations, I'm aware that mentoring opportunity makes tremendous differences in one's personal lives, professional lives. I found that many successful people had mentors at some point in their lives. The mentoring project that we have started recently connects one experienced ELT scholar from Nepal or abroad with one Nepali ELT scholar who is less experienced and can benefit from direct one-on-one -on -one support. This pairing is done primarily for the purpose of producing a more or less scholarly blog post for Chautari, but there are many other side benefits to the opportunity. Among others, the younger scholar can learn about the mentor's field of expertise, the professional connection may last much beyond the six months of mentor assignment, and the young scholar can also learn about career opportunities more broadly. If you are a more experienced scholar and would like to provide mentoring support to a younger scholar, this is one of the most impactful and fulfilling ways to give back to the ELT community. In fact, mentors benefit in the secondary ways, as the mentees do as well. I'm very happy to share with you the incredible news that many established scholars from home and abroad have shown their willingness to provide mentorship to interested teachers in becoming better writers, which is again a key to multiple possibilities. How nice that you can now just sign up to get involved and we can connect you with those people who want to reach out to you and assist you in achieving your professional goals. All you need to do is just visit Nelta Chautari and fill out a form. If you want to begin this mentoring journey today, the form is available at neltachautari.wordpress.com slash mentoring. I invite you to join. Thank you.